Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K17 Pro M gameplay. Brian starting things off with a nice block. Look at Skomo and Bees up ahead. Finding Bees in the corner and he knocks down the three making the right read right there. They cover Skomo and we get our sharpshooter in open look. All good, all good. And look at Brian. It's a block party out here. Bees once again is out. We're just going to hit Skomo this time. Last time we got Bees. We make them respect Bees. This time we go to Skomo and all good. Especially when Brian is blocking shots. There he is again. This man is all over the place skomo gonna get the bucket right there we had three guys out so if brian's gonna block shots like that he might be on triple double where it blocks as we find walsh in the corner and he knocks down the three the defensive stopper is capable of knocking down those corner threes mainly as long as he's getting a pass right there is walsh gonna pass it out to b is open for three and he's got it right there a hot start for our team offensively early on as they go inside pump faking get a nice bucket right there so we are running the me Bees as shooting guard with his sharpshooter. Skomo with his playmaker. Walsh getting blocked with his lockdown defender. But we're going to get the board and the assist to Brian, who's got his center out there. His normal center, as you guys know. We're going to put up a floater right there. You don't see too many floaters. Floaters are harder to get this year than last year because the animations aren't as good. And, um... The floaters are kind of lower to the ground than the, they were last year. And I love myself some floaters, but they kind of ruined the floater animation this year. Unless you have the, uh, like, Hall of Fame floater badge or something like that. As we find Walsh inside, he gets the dunk. These guys did chop up the deficit. You know, they made a nice comeback from what was going on early on in the game. Mainly the Brian Block Party as we get a Beast 3 right there. Beast is definitely cooking early on. He's got his grand badge activated. And not just these short shoot, um, shooting really well. He's finding the open man as well. He had the mid-range, but he got the better shot for Brian as Walsh is wide open he's gonna throw that one down all day long they better get a body on that man as you see this guy in the paint he's gonna find an open man that two just turned around before the shot even went down i don't know if you guys caught that one right there i didn't even see that one when i was editing the video until i just saw it right there that dude just curried that thing as you guys see in the corner that's a wide open bees for three now we have a saying on the team and it sounds pretty dumb but it's pretty you kind of gotta follow this one by heart is that you leave gunner bees open he will shoot the ball that's our nickname for bees he's gunner bees because he just puts up shots yeah i mean that's what you want your sharpshooter to do but this man will put up some bad shots sometimes he's putting up shots all day long and when gunner bees is open he will shoot the ball even when he's not open he will still shoot it as you guys see the point guard with the ball trying to penetrate inside and he's eventually going to kick it out good ball movement and that's a wide open three-pointer right there a little bit of our Achilles heel right now. They're getting wide open, guys. And that's allowing them to, you know, keep up with us offensively. And we are doing a lot offensively as well. Like Walsh dunking the ball. Walsh is getting a lot of buckets inside. We're going to do a nice little bounce pass behind the Walsh. And Walsh is going to finish it with a layup right there. That's not a good shot. That's going to be a Brian rebound. That's going to be an outlet pass. We are running all over the place. And Walsh is just going to take himself right there and get himself a bucket. Get ourselves a six-point lead and force them to call a timeout. But once again again these guys they were scoring very well on the offensive end as walsh throws it down right there keeping up with us punch for punch as they're running near the end of the third quarter they got a wide open man in transition that's a bucket two point game now they've been close but they haven't really gotten the lead and it feels like one of those games where you know you just fight and fight and fight in the fourth quarter you kind of grab it at the last second for them we got to make sure they don't get a hold of it we got to make sure we run away with this game soon but not when they're getting threes like that these bombs from the perimeter are definitely hurting as you see walsh with the ball looking inside brian gonna throw it down back and forth we go one more point for the end of the third quarter this third quarter ended with a lot of Fireworks, including a wide open corner three right there. 61 61 is a score you might see at the end of four quarters in a pro am game. That's the score at the end of three as we end up picking up our first turnover. And Bees actually commits a good foul right there. Fouling them when they had numbers in transition as that's a three pointer that's going to fall down right there. And that's going to get them the lead. Let's see if they can run away with this one and get a nice win on the road for their squad as Walsh with the ball looking outside for Bees back in. Look at the ball movement and look at Brian and one finish we needed that very very badly and they know better than attack brian inside and that was just very unfortunate where that was just a perfect pass where i was kind of out of position but um 
They know better. They know that they don't want to get blocked by Brian. It's bees once again. Coming up time and time again with those three pointers. And he's got one more right there. We might need one or two more from him. Might be asking too much, but we might need a little bit more from these. In the meantime, Brian's going to get the board off the miss. We're running. We're looking. That's Walsh inside. Cutting the lead down to two. Now, we're the ones trying to inch back in this game. These guys did their part. Now, they have to hold on for dear life. And look at the guard going in, tipping the rebound in. You will not see that one too often. Minute 12 left in the game. Down by six. Desperate time. Desperate measures. Going to Brian inside. He's got the dunk right there. Just chipping back into it. But we got to play defensive. We really want to get the lead back. And that's going to help. A steal. Bodying him. Walsh running wide. Open. Beast. Three is off. That would have been a one-point game. But Bees again. Bang. Brian with a big offensive rebound. Second time's the charm. Once again, need that defensive stop. Open man for three is off. Brian once again eating on the glass. Up ahead, we got numbers. We got Walsh for the lead. Rejected. Got met at the top of the summit and got reach oh man that one hurts and now we do not have to foul in this situation shot clock is on it's a one point game we just need a defensive stop right here and we're gonna get it in the form of an offensive three a chance at redemption right here kind of shook after that guy got that block on walsh but um any bucket gets us the lead. It's a one-point game right here. We don't have kill clock or anything like that. We just got to find the open man, move the ball around, see what happens. We're going to penetrate, see if we can find anyone. We get Skomo for the lead. Skomo's off. Just missed it. Oh, we just needed a friendly roll right there instead. Now we have to foul with seven point, or now 4.9 seconds left. We didn't have a foul to give. We gave the foul. Now we send them to the line. Both free throws won't end the game if they're made because it'll just make it a three-point game. Hopefully he misses one. But he comes up big at the line right there, makes the first one, and the second one is down 3.8 left right here. Not a lot of time to get go something going, and you do need a three. So the guy we definitely want to set up right here is our sharpshooter, Bees. We'll see if we can set something up with some screens. We'll get me the ball, see what happens. Maybe Skomo inbound gets to us. Two seconds left, finding Bees, and Bees doesn't get the shot off in time. And that's the game. Oh, that's the game. We didn't even get a shot off. The last video I put up, Josh put up a shot when we didn't even need a shot. When we were up one at the end. Now we got a man down three that won't shoot the ball. We got to get our clock management up. But um, unfortunately, we're going to take another loss. It's been a rough patch right now for us in the Pro-Am, man. It's been a rough one. You guys can tell. I put up like five losses in a row. <laughs> we're going to be if you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Still fun, you know, playing the Pro-Am, making these videos. We just got to make the adjustments and start winning games more. Subscribe for more NBA 2K17 Pro-Am and my career gameplays. And until then, I'll catch you guys next time.